Black Ducks police chief has been fired, leaving the city's police department with no working officers. Some residents are in disbelief. Brenda Mack has reaction. The city of Black Duck is left with no police force after its city council voted to fire Black Duck Chief of Police John Wilkinson. City documents show Wilkinson has violated several city and state laws. The investigation led by a Grand Rapids sergeant reports Wilkinson gave an underage girl alcoholic drinks. He also admitted that both of them bought illegal fireworks. The report also says he made loud obscene comments about having sex with an 18-year-old. City officials did not comment due to ongoing legal processes. And after speaking with local residents, many are devastated by the news, saying the former police chief has been nothing but a support to the community. Officer John Wilkinson, was, he's a very good friend to me and my daughter. He's been very kind to us. Officer John always took time to come, come and take time to help me with Ronnie or to come try to give me some encouraging words or something like that. So it's really hard for me to hear that he's doing anything like that wrong. I just can't believe it. The kids really liked him. Um, he joked around with them. He let them play, you know, he'd get in his cop car and they'd go visit him down at the police station and sit down with him and talk. So I, I feel like with the kids, he was a really great guy. And some residents are concerned with safety. Just two months ago, the second officer of the two-team force left the department. I'm kind of disturbed about not having a police officer in our town now. I mean, that's kind of scary, you know. Hope it don't take too long before we get another officer. City officials say they are working with Beltrami County for law enforcement in the community. In Black Duck, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. We were unable to reach Wilkinson for comment today. He has been placed on administrative leave since June 6th. He has the right to request a hearing within 60 days. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.